Hello, dear grade 8 students. It's me again, Alexis R. Osoru. Today, we are going to have slope of a line. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the slope of a line given two points. With what is slope of a line? So, the slope of a line is the ratio of the vertical rise of a line to its horizontal run. The word slope means step, pitch, tilt. Okay, so these are the words related to slope. Or sa Tagalog, pag sinabi natin slope, ito ay kung gaano katarik. Kung gaano katarik ang isang bagay o isang lugar. The slope of a line containing the points with coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 is defined by the formula m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The word slope is denoted by small m. Okay, so small m kapag ka slope, not capital M but small m. Okay, where x sub 2 is not equal to x sub 1. Let's take, a, uh, let's take a look at this picture. Okay, so we are all familiar with this. Okay, so tignan natin kung paano ba ma-i-apply ang slope sa given figure, which is uh, Mount Mayon. Okay, I've got this photo in Google. Alright, so let's have this point uh, from point A to point B. In this picture, uh, tinitignan natin kung gaano katarik ang Mount Mayon from point A to point B. Hindi natin itatanong kung gaano kataas kasi kapag kasi sinabi natin taas, that is a distance from point A to uh, not point B. Okay, that will be at the center of this Mount uh, Mayon. But we are talking about slope. So, from point A to point B, gaano katarik? Alright, so, let's have examples. So, to start with our first example, find the slope of a line that passes through 3, 5, and 1, 1. Okay, so dahil dalawang points natin, 3, 5, and 1, 1, let us try to plot it first in Cartesian plane. So, 3, 5 is here and 1, 1 is here. Let's say they are points A and B. Okay, so dahil hinahanap natin ang slope nito, kung gaano katarik, let's draw a line uh, that contains them. Next, dahil dalawa ang points natin, uh, we have x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 to indicate which point will be x sub 1, y sub 1. And which point will be x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, so pwede natin gawin na x sub 1, y sub 1, yung first point natin, 3, 5. x sub 2, y sub 2 is our second point, 1, 1. Or pwedeng baliktad. Kahit baliktad rin natin yan, the same answer pa rin ang makukuha natin. So, paano nga ba natin kunin ng slope? First, Write down the formula to get the slope of a line given two points. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is e uh, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Let us just substitute the values of y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 1 in the formula. So this will give us 1 minus 5 over 1 minus 3. Sinubstitute lang natin. Alright. Now, after substituting the values of x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, let us simplify. 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Okay. So, we can still simplify this given. Negative 4 over negative 2, that will give us 
m is equal to 2 because a negative 4 divided by negative 2 that is positive 2 so the slope is positive 2 if the slope is positive the trend of the graph rises from left to right as you can see in the figure all right so that is a uh, very simple just follow on how to find the slope of a line given the formula okay how about find the slope of a line through negative 3 4 and 1 negative 3 okay so let us write down first the two points negative 3 4 1 negative 3 let us plot it also in cartesian plane okay so negative 3 4 1 negative 3 let's say they are points c and d dahil hinahanap natin kung gaano ka direct let's connect it okay so now uh, since we have two points, pipili ulit tayo kung aling dyan si x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, para mabilis, yun na lang din ang ginawa ko. Pero kahit gawin natin or gamitin natin si 1, negative 3 as our x sub 1, y sub 1, at ito naman si negative 4, or negative 3, positive 4 ay uh, x sub 2, y sub 2, same answer pa rin. Okay, let's write down the formula. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Just substitute the given values. Negative 3 minus 4 over 1 minus negative 3. In the denominator, it can be 1 plus 3. So, therefore, if we are going to simplify it, negative 3 minus 4, it will be negative 7. 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 4. And that is our slope. M is equal to negative 7 over 4. The slope is negative. Okay, we can also uh, say that the slope is negative easily by looking at the trend of the graph if the graph rises from right to left the uh, the slope is negative okay next this given find the slope of the line through negative 3 3 and 1 3 okay plot it first in cartesian plane all right let's say they are points e and f let's connect them and we are going to find the slope of it so this will be x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 write again the formula m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 next step substitute the given values okay 3 minus 3 over 1 minus negative 3 to simplify this 3 minus 3 will give us 0 1 minus negative 3 will give us 4 so the answer is 0 over 4 we can still simplify 0 over 4 and that is zero so the slope of this is zero so kapag ka ang line natin or equation ay uh, horizontal line as you can see in the graph the slope is zero all right next find the slope of the line through four one and four negative three write down the two points plot it in cartesian plane all right let us say they are points g and h connect them and then let's find the slope of it okay so the formula to get the slope is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 
over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Simplify or substitute the given values. Negative 3 minus 1 over 4 minus 4. And then simplify it. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, if the denominator is 0, the answer should be undefined. Okay, so don't forget that if the denominator of any fraction is 0, that is undefined. So the slope of this vertical line is undefined. Okay. Something from this a video on how to get the slope of a line given two points. Okay, so if you have any questions, just comment down below. And thank you for watching this video.